All right, guys and girls, welcome back for another episode of Homefront the Revolution. I'm your host, Imperial Arm. Uh, when we last left off, we went over and took care of Crawford's boss so he could get him a cushy promotion. Nah, supposedly he had, uh, he had info on Crawford, would have blown up the whole resistance. So we went ahead and took care of him, uh, made our way back to his apartment. So we're standing right inside of the foyer right now. We'll go ahead and head up, do this mission, and then uh, move out from there, see what we got going on. Somebody's coming. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, Brady. Sorry, man. I'm glad you could make it. Crawford here has some intel for us. Don't you, buddy? Yes, I do. Now, we all know finding a Goliath isn't hard. It's finding one that's deactivated and stealable. That's the challenge. I try repair depots and storage yards, but that information is heavily restricted. But then I was transferred into the logistics department. Our primary focus there is the movement of material and equipment in and out of the country. And part of that involves arranging the delivery of military hardware. Hey, you're a mailman now. Very amusing. Come on, I was only joking. Go on. I've located a shipment of Goliaths. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. It's a couple of days. Whole convoy coming in over at the old Navy Yard. Boxed up fresh from the factory. Ready and waiting to be stolen. We just gotta find a way into that shipyard. Then you'll need my assistance again, it seems. The police station has all the worker manifests. And with help, I can access the shipyard's records and make two copies of IDs. You and Brady could use them to pose as workers and just walk right in. Nice. All right, nice job, Crawford. I mean it. Brady, you head to the police station. I'm gonna scope out the shipyard. We'll be walking in unarmed, so I want to know exactly what we're up against. Good luck. Okay, this doesn't sound like it could go bad at all. Hey, come on, Brady. Get going. I am I'm going, I'm going. Calm down. Boy. Do not need to switch to decaf. A little high strung. Alright, so. While the manifest location was easy to discover, getting to it won't be. The police station is the most fortified compound in the zone. Even when surrounded by collaborators, the KPA don't take any chances. We'll need the support. No, we've got to get our hearts and minds up to 100% <clears throat> before we can access that, so uh, I guess we could try to go over there and do that real quick, so yeah, we'll... the civilian population if we're to stand a chance of getting inside. Taters will be identified and arrested. Calmly walk across the street and try not to draw attention to ourselves. Down here. Will be met with deadly force. We can actually cut some of these while we're working our way around. Oh, there we go. Any persons defacing the cross the street? Okay, here we go. Report any oh, criminal activity right, so. to your nearest peacekeeper. What's up, Fred? I not, I was gonna say, can I not jump over that? Oh, I can sell off some of our valuables real quick. Yeah. No. Uh, we didn't actually need to jump over that, we needed to go this way. I'll try not to fall down the hole this time, so. Am 
I just want to blow up phones. Did you see I'm busy fucking running a revolution here, guys? Come on. I mean, Walker's gone, nobody else is really doing anything, so... Alright, radio's on. Uh, might as well loot while we're here, right, folks? Alright, so we're out. this time so oh, they're looking what are they looking for you see me jump across this is a message to all American citizens return to your homes at once or face arrest all right so there we go that'll be hearts and minds over 100 percent so we'll be able to start doing some more stuff now it'll unlock that story mission in particular which we'll go hit kind of want to start running an assault rifle again as opposed to the battle. I mean, the battle rifle's good, but it's, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do the upgrade there so it's fully upgraded. Oh, we unlocked an achievement. Yay. Warning. Rioters will be dispersed using deadly force. Cease illegal activities and return home. Just drop down right there, as opposed to having to jump back across. This will be fun, guys. We've actually got a hack tool here. We'll <clears throat> It'll turn it against them for a bit. It'll turn that, uh, what are they, is that Wolverine? It'll be a good time. It'll go around. It'll mess up some collaborator stuff. Bad guy mode or good guy mode, so we are gonna take a chance though to get this camera. Camera's down. Uh, <clears throat> oh, we can actually go power up the. Uh, <clears throat> transceiver so that we can have assistance in this zone while we're doing stuff so I think we might actually go do that before we go do the police station so oh yeah we gotta do it anyway so alright cool so we'll
Information Center. What in the world is going on here? Oh, well, I'm about to get shot up, so it's about to go on. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to... run for it so we're gonna go over here So we'll have to wait till this patrol passes by, or I guess we could actually probably just blow them up. The yeah, let's Repeat. do that. How did we get civilian casualties when we didn't even? Oh Christ! It should have went up. But it didn't. Okay, we might have popped it too early. Hmm. They're attacking the collaborators, that's funny. So, alright, so let's go ahead and head over this way, guys. We'll just circumvent that whole mess we just created. And say, uh, my bad. All right, so aggression towards peace officers or citizens in the liaison program is a crime, punishable by immediate suspension of ration cards and possible enrollment in North Philadelphia Re Education Center. Oh, what the hell, man. Alright, so here we go guys, we're gonna power on the transceiver, <clears throat> tell everybody to pick up arms and fight and resist the KPA. If I can figure out which way to go. Okay, here we go. Alright, yep, yeah, down. Where's the god? I need more god. Do it, bro. Power it on. District's in full revolt now, so we'll be able to move around a little freely. We'll also have supportive resistance fighters, so. Alright, we did it! Time to show the collaborators the price of siding with the enemy. It's time to take Ashgate back for the people. Careful, man. We got wounded here. That's it, Brady. You did it. 
the civilians are fighting back against the KPA and causing havoc in the streets. Sounds like a large group has caused significant damage to the police station. Get over there and see if you can use it to your advantage. Get to the police station and get the manifest. The KPA are too busy dealing with the civil unrest. This is your best chance to get inside. All right, so we'll head back over. So we'll make our way over there. I don't know if we'll actually be able to hit that mission today. So or this episode, but we'll we'll make a best attempt, so This is what happens when a uh, when a population turns on its own people and then they uprise. The police station is at the heart of KPA oh. operations in Ashgate. The worker manifest will be accessible from there as they will vet the workers heavily before allowing them into the shipyard. Uh, we're gonna scope the sides out, determine the best possible. Entryway. It actually looks like it's gonna be right back there. Alright, we can do this this episode. I think though we're gonna have to uh, switch up our weapons here, so we'll go with that. That's our back up. There we go. Oh, seriously? Defacing public property Man. and antisocial behavior will not be tolerated. This zone is now subject to level We actually use that to our advantage, so if we do not risk incarceration, if we can get in there. chance to do what I wanted to do. Let's see. There's a heavy up there, so... So there's actually quite a few heavies. I might be able to get all my photos if I can sneak in here. I was gonna, I'm still gonna try it anyway. We're gonna go here the hack tool.
Now we're inside. The next thing we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to blow it up. So what we'll do is we'll uh, wait and see if this guy can come in this door right here. He's not going to, so what we'll do is we'll go to our old trusty uh, RC car explosive. it out so now we're down less a few less guys that we got to deal with so well, they're gonna go right over there we're gonna take full advantage of that we're gonna come in behind them and shoot them up you going to send through this door to die. Alright, so, anyway. Browns, because we need rounds. that thing oh that's new I haven't seen that before guys it's an automated turret defense or some sort all right so we're gonna get up here we'll go blow this door open and do whatever we gotta do <clears throat> this will end up being a stronghold for us once we do take it over so uh, switch up to short range I don't know why we're messing with Goliaths when we should just take tanks. That would be pretty good, I think. A tank would be great. Alright, so... What? Oh, you know what? I'll play your stupid game. Oh, it's actually in there. Okay. Huh. My bad, folks. I thought I had to blow open that thing to... to let myself into the facility. It's like, all right, I already found a way, guys. Thanks. No. All right, so, okay, here we go. There we go. Although I will say, I do think that they should have a different hacky mini game for the big hacks like that. You know, that's something critical. You know. He's making our IDs. I've scouted out the shipyard, and Crawford wasn't shitting us. There are Goliaths there for sure. I've headed to the safe house to make arrangements with Heather. Come and meet me there when you're all set. All right, guys. So. We completed that mission. We're going to go ahead and put a break in here. Um, remember, guys, this is Homefront the Revolution. I'm your host, Imperial Arm. If you guys like the video, hit the like button below. If you want to see more content, subscribe. Or head over to my channel and check out uh, any of the other content that's on there. So, until next time, guys, nothing follows.